And I'm gonna go through our compensation plan. Uh, it's updated because of what we've just done earlier today. And then I'm gonna teach you some really powerful strategy at the end of this related to one aspect of our compensation plan. So I wanna recap the three objectives we said we had when we launched the company. The first is we wanted a product everyone would be proud to show their friends without hesitation, explanation, or apology. You know, I don't like products that are bait and switch. I don't like products that sound good in the presentation and you get home and log in and realize it's not really that good. I don't want to have to explain it to people or apologize for it or go, well, you don't understand if you hold up one leg and it's on a full moon, then, then it's good in this regard. I just want the product to, to be great and have people just want to shout it from the rooftops. And we have delivered on that in spades and we continue to make this the best club, the best membership in the world. And we continue to put world-class products into the marketplace every single quarter. We just launched Defense uh, last month and uh, we've got more on the way. But next, we talked about having the highest paid leaders in the industry. That is coming as well. Only thing that has to happen is the time has to pass because Chris just referenced it. The money that our people are making here for the size of team is off the charts. We've got people making multiple six figures that don't even have close to a thousand people on their team. I want you to get that through your mind. Six, multiple six figures, not a thousand people. What does that mean when there is a thousand people and then there's 10,000 people? Because the math is the same. See, we don't have caps. We don't have stuff that, we don't have the, the breakage that happens in most comp plans. So the math is the math. As the volume grows, the percentage stays the same. So those people's income is just gonna keep going up. And we're gonna go through that here in a second. And then we said we're gonna be super lean and agile. We're gonna be able to turn on a dime. We're gonna be able to take advantage of trends. We're gonna be positioned right. Uh, we're gonna be smart stewards of the resources God has given us. And we are definitely doing that as well. So let's talk about our comp plan. We have a volume-based comp plan. Volume just means money. We don't pay you based on legs or you know, left leg, right leg, or short leg, long leg, or three legs, you know, they have to be all balanced or anything. That's just like, when volume comes into the plan, we pay a percentage against the volume. That's what we do. So we have two kinds of volumes. Volume, we have lineage volume, excuse me, and group volume. Did you see it's my birthday and I just sounded like I'm a 13 year old. I don't really know what's going on with that, but I'm excited for, for that potential to go back in time. So um, we had lineage volume and group volume. This is a very, very powerful piece of our comp plan. So lineage volume is your children, your children's children, your children's children's children, right? You enroll someone and everything that comes out of that, that's your lineage. And we use that for the requirements to rank up and to qualify for your lifestyle bonuses. But group volume is how we pay the biggest part of your pay, which is your unilevel and generational bonuses. So what is in your group is anything beneath you, anything beneath you. And we have a way, we're going to talk about this later in this same presentation in a little bit, that we can, someone can be put on your team. So they would be placed beneath you. If they're beneath you, they are part of your group and you're paid on their volume as if they were in your lineage. This is a very powerful thing because a lot of compensation plans try to tout fear of loss as one of the benefits of the plan. And they'll say, look, if you get in now, I'll put someone under you. But the person who gets put under you doesn't help you. You don't get paid on anything that comes from them. It's just fool's gold. It's another bait and switch. Here, if I say to you, you should get started today because I'm going to put my brother in tomorrow and then I do that, when my brother goes out and buys a super bundle, that volume is in your group and you get paid on that volume the same way you would have if you personally enrolled the brother. The fear of loss we've got with this comp plan trumps any fear of loss pitch in the network marketing industry. We have ranks from consultant to crown. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this. You can go look at this later, but we have a very, very smooth plan with 12 steps in the comp plan, in the career path. Now we pay a direct commission on new enrollments. 
and it goes 10, 15, and 20% in the same week because we pay this every week. We pay on Fridays. Uh, we pay on time every time. So from zero to $300 in new enrollment volume, when you sign up a new person, from zero to $300, we're paying you 10% of that. So if you signed up $300 worth, you're getting 30 bucks. When you cross over to 301, from 301 to 900 in the same week, you're at 15%. And when you get over 900, you're at 20%. We also have a duplication bonus, which is really cool. We, you know, a lot of companies teach score in 24, but they don't actually incentivize it. We do. Whenever you enroll someone, all of the enrollment, all of the volume they do in their first seven days, you get a match of 10% of that. So if you enroll me and I go out and I sign up 10 people at this $99.99, so I've created a thousand dollars in volume, you would get 10%, you'd get a hundred dollars from that. So you have an incentive to run with that new person and create duplication in their first week. We have a producer's bonus, which is paid monthly. You get $200 for every 1,500 in personal enrollment volume you do in a month. So if you create $1,500 in new members joining that month, that's $200. There's no limit. You can earn two producer's bonuses, 10 producer's bonuses, however many you go produce. If you go enroll a ton of people, you'll put in 20, 30 new enrollments in a month you're gonna get producer's bonuses for whatever that volume was uh, divided by 1500, that'll produce the number, uh, no pun intended, produce the number of producer's bonuses. We have a builder's bonus, which means you get paid $100 whenever you produce $400 in monthly membership volume. So this is basically, you go, you enroll four elite members, we're gonna pay you a $100 bonus called a builder's bonus every single month that you have those four active enrollments. So you don't have to enroll four every month. It's just any time in a month that four of your, or that your personals account for $400 in membership fees. So that could be eight standard, that could be four elite, it could be two elite and four standard. It doesn't really matter uh, what the combination is. When you've got $400 in membership fees coming into the company every month, we pay you $100 called the builder's bonus. Now this is your unit level and we pay through six levels and you get paid the percentage based on how many, I mean, you get the percentage within the level and you get to unlock levels as you go up in the comp plan and you get a pay raise every single time you rank up here, which I think is significant. It, it doesn't make sense to me. There's companies where you could go up to the next rank and your income doesn't change. I've never, understood. I've never seen where you get a promotion and there's no pay increase. So here your pay goes up every time. Now what's really key to take away from this idea of the unit level is we have no caps on your income. So it, it's not obvious for a new person, but this is one of the things that makes our comp plan so powerful. So if we were sitting together and I was to quiz you and I was to say, how many levels does an associate get paid? And you would say, mm, one. And then I'd go, so that means they can't make very much money, right? And you'd go, yeah. And I would go, no. Because see, they, they get 5% of level one. Is there a cap on how much they can make off their level one? No, there's not. Now, I'm going to admit to you that what I'm about to say to you is hyperbole. I don't want anybody to think that this is a realistic expectation. I'm saying this for illustrative purposes only. But if you had some organization that you signed up on your level one and they did a million dollars in volume as an associate, they're the only thing you ever signed up. You'd make 5% of a million dollars. There's no cap on your income here at any level. An associate in theory could make more money than a director just simply because they've got more volume coming through their level one. We have no caps on your income at experience. Let me say it again. There is no cap on your income. So when you build a career here, we talk about multi-generational wealth. That's what we're doing here. Because when you hand this asset off to the next generation, as the asset grows, the wealth coming into your family continues to grow. Because we don't ever say, well, sorry, you hit. 50 grand a month, 
that's it. It doesn't matter how much it grows beyond that. You hit a hundred grand a month. Sorry, doesn't go any further than that. As the volume keeps expanding, as the pie gets bigger in your little business, the percentages just keep paying against that pie. And that number is more and more and more money. 5% of a thousand is less than 5% of a hundred thousand. 5% of a million is more than 5% of a hundred thousand. We just pay the percentage out. That's the takeaway from this slide. Now, we also have something very, very significant in our comp plan. It's called compression. What compression means is if somebody doesn't, um, if somebody disappears from the level. So like, let's say that I sign up Sally and then she's my level one. And then Sally signs up Joe. Joe's my level two. If Sally quits, Joe compresses and becomes my level one. This is huge because if I go back to this, what's going to happen is over time, people will quit. And the big, where is your organization in theory most of the time, well over 99% of the time, where, are the, where is your organization going to be the widest in level six, right? Because a couple, no, a couple, no, a couple, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. This is why people call this a pyramid scheme, even it just happens to be the way that math and geometry work. Just, you know, exponentially as things go away from you, you know, in any organization, there's more people who find out about it out here, right? There's the pastor who starts the church, and then they tell a few elders who then, and then of course, there's more congregation out here. It's just the way things work. So your level six will have the most people, right? Well, as stuff quits, all those people start compressing up higher and higher and higher into your organization if you are the one who stays the course. So it's very, very powerful portion of what we've got. But we didn't stop there. We have the holy grail of network marketing compensation plans. We have compression and roll up. What's roll up mean? Roll up means that if there's someone who should have qualified for a bonus in between, like down in your organization, and they didn't, we don't keep the bonus. Lots of companies do that. We look for the next person who would have qualified and we roll that bonus up and pay them. We pay the person up who should have, who would have qualified because the person down here didn't. That means we're paying out every bonus that's in the plan all the time. We are all about the consultants. So you have compression and you have roll up. This is mind blow to anybody who knows the industry who reads our comp plan. Now we have the new X bonus, which I talked about already. So I'll go through this really quickly. You earn $350 when you have $1,000 in monthly membership fee volume. It requires four active personally enrolled with no more than 300 in volume coming from any single line of lineage. I mean, I don't know how else we can tell you. You can earn $500 a month residually with just 10 members. Now that we have the X bonus. Uh, next, we've got our generational bonus. And this is where the big money starts because at Sapphire, we start paying you on three generations of Sapphire. And I want to make this really, really clear. So I'm going to actually go to my iPad. Okay. So I want to explain generational pay. So this is you. Oh, this is you up here. And I'm not a good artist. So just know this is you, little happy person here. And we pay you six levels, right, in the unit level. And I'm not going to write all the percentages out here, but you, oh, well, let me just do that just in case so we can make this really clear. So you get five, five, four, four, four. And once you get to Sapphire, which is $60,000 in volume, we are going to start paying you on generations. So the first thing you need to know is that you hit Sapphire, your, your check is going to essentially double that day with no new volume, no extra people. Why? Because we apply the generational bonus starting back up here. So you add 4% to everything you're paid on your first six levels. Now, now we do what's called generational pay. Now, what's a generation? A generation is a sapphire. So there's another concept I've got to explain because I really want you to grasp how big this is. And what I want you to think about for illustrative purposes is imagine water in a brook 
that's going downhill. And imagine what does water do? It goes to, down every rivulet that it can find, doesn't it? It looks for every way it can go. Now, that's what our generational programming in the computer is going to do with your organization. So what do I mean by that? If this is here, let's just pretend, you know, you've got all these personals and then they've got personals and then they've got personals and so forth, right? And this is what your organization looks like. And I'm simplifying, obviously. Now, what I'm going to, I'm going to describe a process here in a second, but I want you to understand that this process is going to go like water down every way that it can go. Let me use a different color so you can just see what I mean. So let's just, uh, why is that happening? Sorry, my, um, so let's use green. So it's gonna, it's gonna trace every line you've got. It's gonna do it every way it can go. It's gonna trace every route it can take to do what I'm about to describe. So it doesn't just go once, there's not once. It's every line of lineage and every permutation of every line of lineage. And, and you're gonna understand what I mean here in a second. Okay, now, what the computer is gonna do, I'm gonna show you going, I'm gonna show it going straight down like this. But understand that straight down means one of these options. It's going to do that every way it can go. I'll just keep saying that to hopefully it'll sink in. So what the computer is going to do is uh, the computer is going to look, go start here, and it's going to go looking for the next sapphire in a line, which is a very high rank. And I'm going to show you why that's a big deal here in a moment. And let's say that it finds a sapphire on your 23rd level. There's the first sapphire. So what it's going to do is it's going to pay 4% of all the volume here to 23. 4% of all the volume that came in in those levels 7 through 23. Okay? 4%. Then, but guess, remember, you're paid on how many generations as a sapphire? Three generations as a sapphire. Now it's going to do it again. It's going to go looking for the next one. And let's say it finds the next one at level, I don't know, 54. Because remember, sapphires are going to be very rare in our company. It's going to pay 4% of all this volume. And then it's going to do it again a third time. Let's say it finds the next one at level 78. And it's going to pay 4% of all that volume. Now, when you get to Ruby, we add another generation. And when you get to Emerald, we add another one. When you get to Diamond, we add another one. And when you get to Crown, we add another one. We pay seven generations. This is how we're going to have the highest paid leaders in the industry. Because once you're a Diamond or a Crown, you're essentially getting paid on infinite stuff. I mean, there's companies out there that talk about infinite payout and you're not trying to be offensive. It's just not true because they have caps on the income. So yeah, you're paid infinitely on one portion of your team, like a, like a, like a third leg or a second leg, but that part to infinity, as long as it does less volume than the cap. Once you get enough volume in that leg that it hits the cap, you're done here. We're paying infinite generations essentially because here's another thing. There's other companies out there with generational bonuses. They've tried to copy our generational bonus structure. They've come along since we launched this. But the problem with those companies is, the, is their generation is a, is a low rank. So just think about like our three-star ambassador. Will there be more three-star ambassadors or more sapphires? We'll have, I don't know, 100, 200, 1,000. I don't know what the number is. It'll be a very large number of three-star ambassadors for every one sapphire, which means they're going to be rare which means you're going to have to, you're going to have part. So going back to my little, little water example, you're going to have, um, people, you're going to have some examples where like you, you go down, let's say you find the generation here, you find a sapphire here, you find a sapphire here, but, but in this line, 
third sapphire. Guess what that means? You're paid, sorry, do it this way. You're paid to infinity 4% because it never finds the next one. Or it might get to the fifth sapphire in the line, you know, 10 years from now, you might have five sapphires in that line, but it never finds the sixth one or the seventh one. You're paid to infinite generations on that line. So yeah, you might reach the seventh generation of a sapphire in one, one really rare line, but you're gonna have lots of these lines where you don't have seven generations of sapphires because they're so rare and we're paying out infinite pay on all the volume we drive through the plan. Generational pay is bad to the bone. That's where the money is. Your goal is to be a sapphire in this company because your income doubled the day you hit sapphire. Um, we have our lifestyle bonus program, uh, un unprecedented. I mean, our rubies are earning a higher level lifestyle bonus than some people's highest ranks house program or whatever. You know, at Crown, you're making $25,000 a month just in the lifestyle bonus. There's programs out there that when you hit their highest rank, they give you a one-time check for $25,000 as a congratulations. We're giving you $25,000 every month. I mean, I don't know if that'll cover at least, you know, I mean, it's called the lifestyle bonus. So maybe you buy like a bathing suit and a car payment. I don't know, something, 25,000 a month, every month. Some people, that's their cap, $25,000. That's our lifestyle bonus. Let's talk about the enrollment tree. Uh, who enrolled the member is the enrollment tree. Um, Whose lineage do they belong to? And then we have our placement tree. Now, the reason this I'm explaining this is I'm about to start talking about our holding tank. And someone became, can, I can enroll 100 people and I can place them wherever I want based on the holding tank. So we have in your back office, when you log in, you can look at your downline as the enrollment tree, like who enrolled who, who enrolled who, who enrolled who. So I might have somebody that's my level one in my enrollment tree view but they might be on my level three in my placement tree because I put them down in my, in my um, organization because of a holding tank contest or something like that that we're gonna talk about here in a moment. Something else we're really proud of, we have our leadership bonus. And um, when you reach the rank of Emerald, we begin to share the revenue of the entire company. We wanted to incentivize our top people to, to have two things happen. Number one, to treat everybody well. We don't want anybody feeling like a stepchild here. And we didn't want anybody, you know, jealousy and greed is a real human issue. You know, it's uh, one of the reasons Christ had to die for us. And so um, we understand that. I don't want there, there's gonna be a, a moment in this company's history where something huge is gonna happen. I don't want resentment and jealousy like, oh, I wish I was over there. If you're a leader, you're gonna cheer that on here because we're gonna pay you out of all that growth. When you get to Emerald and above, you're getting a percentage of the entire company's revenue. And we have a shares approach that the second goal of this bonus is to keep our leaders motivated because they can continually increase their percentage that they get from the company. So when you are an emerald, you get one share. When you're a diamond, you get two shares. And when you're a crown, you get four shares of whatever the, the pool is. And the bigger the pool gets, the, the more each share becomes worth. But here's where it gets crazy. Consultants can add shares for every lineage beyond their third where they produce a ruby or above. So they get that fourth lineage or fifth lineage going, they're gonna go in that fourth lineage looking for the superstar. Who can I pour into? Because if I can turn them into a ruby, I'm gonna add a share to the bonus pool. And let me just tell you, these shares I believe will be worth, individual shares will start being worth seven figures. So if I can go add a share, I'm adding seven figures long-term to my income and my family's multi-generational income. We have the best comp plan in the network marketing industry period. This slide has existed since we launched the company. It's never been rivaled and we've only made the thing better. We made it way better today. This is still the truth. We have the best plan in the industry. We will have the highest paid leaders in the industry. Now I wanna talk about the holding tank because I left that out of our normal talk about the comp plan because I wanna talk about some strategies related to the holding tank and how you take advantage of this very powerful mechanism 
We have programmed a holding tank that's unlike anything that's existed in the industry before. And uh, I don't know that anybody will be able to replicate it because again, we had to custom program this. Um, the software company we use for our holding tank didn't have a single client who had ever asked them to do something like this. So one of the things that makes our holding tank unique is that in most holding tanks, the holding tank um, is an either or proposition, which means you can put someone in the holding tank, but they don't yet count towards the comp plan, meaning I'm not getting paid on them. I'm not getting paid on what happens while they're there. Or I can place them into the, into the downline and I start getting compensated. I have to choose. Do I want to take advantage of having the holding tank for a little while and not get paid? Or do I want to get paid? Here, that's not true. When someone is in your holding tank, by the way, everyone you enroll is by default in your holding tank, whether you know it or not. And then we move them at the end of 60 days, which I'll talk about here in a second, whether you know it or not to your level one, if you haven't touched them, which is where they naturally would have been. So, you know, if I was to enroll Chris Kent today, I'd be a very blessed person to have him join my team. And if I didn't know anything about the comp plan, I don't know it, but he's in my holding tank. Where would he have naturally gone? He'd be my level one because he's personal enrollment to me. If I don't touch him 60 days in, he hits my level one permanently. And by the way, I was getting paid all along. I didn't know anything about it because our holding tank isn't an either or proposition. So the holding tank is up to 60 days. You can place your new enrollment wherever you want in your organization. You can put them anywhere in your organization that you want to put them and you have up to 60 days. And that seems like a crazy number. It was a very strategic number. We'll talk about that in a moment. By the way, your Explore Rewards members go into your holding tank too. So when you're giving away your free websites, those people are going into your holding tank. You can use those as leverage. Unbelievably powerful. Now I say this all the time and some people take it to heart and some people hear it at the training and then it's like the book of James says, it's like they looked in the mirror but then they walked away and forgot what their face looks like. That's what happens. I say you should never only get one enrollment ever in your lifetime and experience. And people go, oh man, it's so right. I'll never get one enrollment again. And then they go away and get one enrollment. I don't know how it's possible to only get one enrollment and experience. I don't know how it's possible because of the holding tank. If you'll do what I'm telling you right now, you should never only get one enrollment. Everyone, I would be so motivated to go get an app because once I've got an app, baby, it's game on with this holding tank idea. So let's just talk about one simple strategy. I'm sitting with you at coffee. And I ask you my favorite closing question after you've watched the presentation, either the video or the slides. So you're coming with me, right? Hey, so you ready to get started? People have different ones, right? You want to be a leader standard. And they go, what? They say what? Well, of course they give you an objection. Some of you are scared about objections. You want objections. If they don't give you an objection, you're never going to get a sale. The worst attitude someone can have towards what you've shown them is apathy. And the only person who will not give you an objection is someone who's apathetic towards what you've just shown them. They don't care. So they're going to go, um, I need to talk to my spouse. I got to think it over. Ah, money's kind of tight. Of course, that one's gone now that we've got the freedom promotion. They'll say something. And you're going to say, rock and roll. Totally get it. I understand. Let me show you something. And when you say, let me show you something, what you're going to do is you're going to whip out your names list. You're going to go, let me just show you something. Boom. You're going to put your names list on the table. Now, you want to have the most names possible on the names list because this is a visual aid. Okay? It's a visual aid. I mean, if I had a list with 200 names on it, it's way better visual aid than if I have a list with five names on it. So you're gonna pull your names list out, you're gonna be like, I just wanna show you something. This list is the list of everybody I'm gonna show. You're just flipping through the list. This is the list of everybody I'm gonna show. And as I said in the beginning, I am dead serious about this. If you haven't heard our three steps uh, setup training, you definitely wanna watch that video in your consultant portal. Uh, we've also did a really, really awesome version of that training at our last live event in March. Um, I'm sad for those of you who missed that because your life 
would not be the same today if you'd seen it. But for those of you who were there, you know what I'm talking about. So you said, you've already told them you're dead serious about this. This is the list of everybody I'm going to show right here. As I said in the beginning, I'm dead serious about this. Everyone I know is going to see this. In fact, I'm adding to this list every day. Now you're going to pull out what's called your top 10 list. You're going to grab the next sheet of paper. This is the list of everybody. Now you're going to grab this list, which is available in your consultant portal. And it's going to have 10 names on it with some notes next to the names. You're going to say, this is my top 10 list. So you've already shown them the 200 names. This is my top 10 list. These are the 10 people I'm showing in the next few days. Now what you're going to do is go down the list and you're going to edify several of the names. You're going to go, okay, this guy is Chris. He's an unbelievable rock star. He's been, you know, an entrepreneur his whole life. This girl right here is uh, Beth, she's a realtor in the area, knows everybody. This right here is Kenitra, super professional mom. She's looking for more out of life. And I'm just going to go down the list and I'm going to edify a couple of the names. And then I'm going to say, as I said, I'm showing these people in the next few days. Now, not all of them are going to get started, but chances are some of them will. And when they do, it could impact you in a big way. Now, here's the magic phrase. See, at experience, we reward decisive behavior. As I said, I'm going to show these people in the next few days, and not all of them are going to get started, but chances are some of them will. And when they do, it could impact you in a big way because, see, at Experience, we reward decisive behavior. And you're going to turn that top 10 sheet over because it has a second side, as you'll see when you go to print it, the placement side. And it's going to have the visual cue you don't need to memorize anything i'm going to give you the script here in a second but it's all right here for you so you're going to be showing this to them and you're going to say let me explain how our comp plan works this is me let me go back well this is me and you're pointing at me just so we're clear this is me and this is you you're going to point at the you and when people take action here they get rewarded when you get started today, you will get the best spot on my team. And you're going to say, you're, I, I'm, I'm having to move stuff around, guys, because there's stuff blocking my screen. Hold on one second. Okay, so you're going to say, you're going to get this spot on my team, and you're going to point to the last circle. And it's the best spot I have. And if you get started now, I'm going to put the next person I show here, and you're going to point at the third circle, my next enrollment. Let me explain why this is significant. See, in Experient, we're paid on group volume. Point at the box that says we're paid on group volume. Anything below you is considered your group, no matter who put them there. You point at that. Anything below this line is your group, regardless of who put them there. This means that if someone is below this line, you are paid bonuses and commissions for all their volume. When they pay their monthly fee, you get paid. When they buy relief, you get paid. When they travel, you get paid. That's already huge, but it goes beyond that. Anyone they enroll, and anyone they enroll, and anyone they enroll are your group also, which means you'd be paid on all that volume as well. How would it feel to have a residual income from my effort all because you were willing to make a couple hundred dollar decision. So do you want any of the people on this list that I just showed you in your group? And you showed the top 10 list to them again. Awesome. You want to be a leader standard. Now that script is here under the documents section of your consultant resources. It's right here, your top 10 list and your holding tank fear of loss script right there in your consultant portal. So guys, if you use this, this is the first holding tank strategy that I would master. It's a strategy that every single person can use right now, whether you have a team or not. It's the fear of loss closing strategy. It's a fear of loss closing strategy that blows out of the water all the other fear of loss closing strategies in the industry. But then it gets even better because you can run get one contest out of the holding tank. Now the I said you should never get more or should you should never only get one enrollment. Let me tell you why. Because you're going to have people say no. And the first time somebody says yes, 
You go back to every one of the people who said no, and you give them the courtesy call. Now, I don't have the slides for the courtesy call. We got the courtesy call script also out there in your back office, but I'm going to give you what it sounds like. If I was to call Chris and say and show Chris the deal, and Chris says no, and then I go show Kenitra, and Kenitra says yes, here's what it would sound like. I would call, Kine call Chris back, and I would say, hey, Chris, Scott, listen, I know uh, I'm, this is just a courtesy call. I know uh, you're still thinking about that experience thing. And, uh, and by the way, let me just back out of this uh, role play for one second. No one ever says no. They all say, well, I'm going to think it over. Man, let me make sure I, I got to do a little research. Man, I got to talk to the wife. That's what they say. So that's what you're going to say when you call them. Hey, Chris, listen, this is just a courtesy call. I know you're still thinking through that experience thing. I know you're still probably waiting to talk to Dolores about the experience thing. This is just a courtesy call. Remember that list of people I showed you that I was going to go talk to? Well, I just got done talking to Kenitra. She's all about it. I mean, this girl is a rock star. She's been praying for something. She says this is it, and she's all in. In fact, we're doing her launch event tomorrow. Listen, that's volume already. You know, I know you're thinking it over, but I showed you first, if you wanted to grab that position before uh, she gets rolling, I'll put her in your group. You'll be paid on her because we get paid on group volume, like I said. Did you want to be standard or elite? Chris gets in. Now guess how many I got? Two. I'm calling the next person with two. Same thing, courtesy call, courtesy call. I'd be blowing up the phone with courtesy calls anytime I get an app. When I get a no, I am fired up to go get a yes fast because I'm going to flip that no. I got to go get just somebody, anybody to give me a yes. And with $49.99 to be a standard member, I mean, anybody to give me a yes, I'm lining them up. We have, you know, we're trying to keep a, a record. I think the record for the most flips from one app is 17 at this point. So see if you can beat that. But people are turning apps into multiple apps all the time. Now, if you have a team, you can run a get one contest. That's simple. You call up your team, you post on your Telegram, whatever. Just enroll a rock star. First person to go get one gets them in your team. Now you have your two or three people on your team scrambling to get a yes. Maybe you're using the courtesy call. By the way, you can stack these because of the power of the comp plan. You could go get. So let me just show you that deal, right? So I go get Chris. I I enroll Kenitra. Then I get Chris because of Kenitra off the courtesy call. Now Kenitra is in Chris's team, but where is Chris? Chris is in my holding tank. So now I could give Chris and Kenitra to whoever wins the get one contest. I don't have to choose either or. I don't have to either run a get one contest or do the courtesy call. I can do the courtesy call while my team is doing the get one contest and they get the bonus person they never counted on. Are you seeing why we should never get one? Get a run a get one contest. You can run a contest for whoever gets the most. Man, this is a really good one. Chris does this all the time. He's turned one app into, I think, 30 or 40 because of this. He gets an app. He, By the way, the, the secret to this is edify the crap out of the app. You don't say, hey, I got somebody, whoever wants them, you know, if you go get an enrollment, you get them. No, no, no. You come to the table like I did. You go, look, I just enrolled Kenitra Scott. This girl was in a previous network marketing company. She was a six-figure earner. She's a professional woman. She's a mom. She's super connected. Her kids are in sports. Her kids are in hobbies. They go to a private school. She knows a ton of people. I'm doing a contest this week. Whoever gets the most personal enrollments by Friday at midnight, I'm giving Kenitra and anything Kenitra produces to you. Now your team is running, and it's not about who gets one. Maybe one gets one, another gets two, three others get three each. Then on Friday, you're like, hey, you'll each have three. Somebody needs to go put in a fourth one, and you're turning that one app into 12, 15, 20, whatever. Like I said, Chris has turned it into more than 30 in, from one app using this one-week contest. Now, the organizational transfer is where this gets really big, and this is why we did 60 days. This is for once you are a leader and you got a big organization. See, I teach a strategy that I've never really taught here at Experience yet. We'll probably do it at a live event coming soon to you. But it's the idea of how to leverage an event and create and double your, sorry, double your organization coming out of an event from one event to the next. It's a strategy I teach to leverage events. Well, part of it, I'll just give you a little cliff notes. Part of it is, 
that what you do is you personally do a little sprint where you personally enroll for the first 30 days coming out of an event. And then there's some other things you do after that 30 days is up. Well, here's, that's where this idea came from. And it's why I wanted the number to be 60 because here's what I would do coming out of today. I mean, we just rolled out a game changer. The industry is going to be rocked when they understand what's happening here. I mean, why would you be a part of any other company in the world than Experian now with our pricing and with the comp plan as we've made the modifications today? Get 10, make 500 residual. So I would go out of this contest or out of this event today and I would put in a team. And I would run with that team for 30 days because what's, our, what's our, our system here? We teach the same system. I enroll you and the very first thing I do with you is book your launch event. Then I'm going to go to your launch event. We're going to retail products and we're going to get you some enrollments and we book some launch events out of that. And in between, we're picking up onesies and twosies by doing, you know, one-on-ones and two-on-ones, right? Okay. So let's say that I enrolled Kenitra since I'm using her as an example. I enroll Kenitra and I run with her for 30 days. And I now have a little organization going with her. Let's just say it's 22 people, okay? Now, I will then go to my leaders and I will say, look, I enrolled this girl, Kenitra, coming out of uh, our Accelerate event last month. And we so far have grown her team to 22 people. Now, I'm going to keep running with her for the next 30 days, but here's the deal. Your volume is at four, uh, 4,000 right now. Your volume is at 10,000. Your volume is at uh, 9,500. Whichever one of you grows your volume by the highest percentage in the next 30 days, whatever Kenitra's organization is at, I'm gonna move her whole organization under you on your level one. I mean, you could cause your volume to go up 20, 30% on one day, just like that. See, I took 30 days to build it, and then they get to run for 30 days to earn it. That's why it's 60 days. I mean, if you grasp what this could do for you as a leader, you will, I mean, every event, your organization is gonna pop, baby. I mean, your organization is gonna blow up, and you're gonna have so many people with your t-shirt walking that stage, it's gonna blow people's minds. And by the way, this is how you're going to get those extra shares in the leadership bonus pool. By the way, the Rialto plus Explore Rewards pitch is an insane group volume fear of loss. I mean, look, there's no one you get truly know here because you at least give them a free website. Those people go in the holding tank. Those people can shop on Rialto. They can buy relief. That's volume. That's group volume. Even if they didn't say yes. So you can use an enrollment that's even an Explore Reward member to go get a paying member. Although I wouldn't do that right now when it's only 50 bucks. So guys, that's our comp plan. That's ho the holding tank. Hopefully this has, you know, reinvigorated you and given you some, some, some juice to think about, A, I am in the deal. I am in the right place at the right time with the right comp plan and the right system to take advantage of it. It's been structured brilliantly for you. And then using the holding tank, I can absolutely blow this thing out of the water with the ammo we've given you here today at Accelerate.